hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in Django web application how to delete all the records from a database and here we got the final output it is a header tax below that we got a table displaying from this database and below that we got one delete all button control now let's delete all the records from this table delete all so here we got a confirm message box or issue you want to delete all records if you don't want to delete click cancel see it's displaying the same let's check in the browser also see it's still the record all the records are available in this table student now delete all now i want to delete click ok see all the records has been deleted successfully from this table it's showing empty now let's browse this table student see now this table has zero rows right now so deleting all the records from this table if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a new django web application first we'll check the table in php my admin database which is my sql server the table name is a student which contains three columns student id student name and gender this ID column is auto gendered column. Now my aim is I want to delete all the records at a time using Django framework. So let's create a new Django web application. In order to create an application first we require a one new folder. So I'm creating a new folder in E drive. Right click the mouse, go to new and select folder. Now I'm creating a new folder. The folder name is Django delete all delete all this is a folder name let's browse this folder i know this django delete all folder is empty now let's create a new django application in this folder i'm using visual studio code to create a django application but before that we need to add our a folder which we have created in the e drive for that go to file and select open folder the folder name the folder I have created in the e drive and this is the folder name we have created uh, and I selected that one click select folder button and here the folder is successfully added to our visual studio explorer panel at the right side we got the welcome page let's close this welcome page and now let's install or create a new application in this folder for that go to view and select terminal and here we got our terminal which is nothing but a command prompt or powershell and also notice the path is it's showing the e drive this is our folder name now let's create an application in this folder django iphone admin start project and the project name is delete all delete b l t delete all delete all is my application name and see here the delete all application is created successfully let me expand this application see when i expand this application there is one subfolder and manage.py is created let me allow to expand this subfolder also when i expand this subfolder there is some default python files like settings.py urls.py all these files and folders has been created automatically when i create this application delete all so after creating a project now next step we'll add one templates folder to render our html pages so right click the application name click new folder the folder name is a templates and this templates contains all my html pages so first let's add one html page in this templates folder select the templates folder right click the mouse click new file and the file name is index.html and here we got our index.html page so after adding the html page next we'll add one models page to this folder right click the models page uh, right click the mouse click new file and the file name is a models.py and here we got our models page now this models page contains a class with some properties so before adding the properties let's import the models class first from django.db import render class after it's not render it's model class sorry model after that let's define a class and the class is a student uh, student model 
which contains the morals model column after that let's add the properties if you notice in our table there are three columns id student name and gender so let's add three properties id morals dot the first id column is a primary key which is integer field so i'm adding the integer field and it's a primary key is equals to two next student name is equals to morals dot cal field and the cal field max underscore length is equals to 100 after that the last one is um, the last column name is a gender so let's add the gender is equals to uh, morals dot cal field the gender is max underscore length is one it's a cal type so after that i'm adding another class called meta class and this meta class contains my table name so db underscore table is equals to between double quotes let's add our table name so student is my table name let's add the student copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file save all and next thing let's add the views page views.py enter now in this views page contains the actual logic to delete all the records from the database so before adding the logic we need to import the classes from django dot uh, django dot shortcuts import render class after that from django next one i'm adding the models class my models class is inside my application name delete all dot models page inside the model space we have a class called student model now let's define a function def student records records i'm requesting first uh, this function return render uh, i'm requesting the template called index.html this template i'm requesting with the help of this function name and the third parameter I want to display all the records first before deleting the records so here I'm adding student object a display display and student model dot objects dot all method this statement it fetches all the records from the student table with the, from the student model let's save this file save all now let's open urls.py in the urls.py let's configure our path of our application from dot import views then in the url patterns i'm adding a new path now this path is the default path so this path becomes the now this path the path i'm adding will be the default page of our application so it's a home page views dot i'm adding my function name so when i want to render index.html with the help of this function i'm rendering the index.html page that's it let's save this file after that let's open settings.py first we need to install our application so in the between single calls in the instance for apps let's install my application name which is delete all paste here then come to the template section notice the directories let's add os.path.join method i'm joining my templates folder my project templates folder with the base directory using join method so base directory comma between single quotes i'm adding templates folder this templates folder i'm adding here then come to the bottom notice in the databases section the default database engine is a sqlite 3 but my database is my sql i'm using my sql database let's delete this default database name of sqlite 3 let's add our my sql database if you check in our table the table i have created in this database channel so my database name is channel and we require the credentials also user the user is root and the password I report the password also i don't have any password to log into my php my admin database 
If you have any password, please enter between the single words. After adding the credentials, now we require the host also. So host is the local host, local host comma, and we require the port number of our database. And let's find out our port number is double three zero eight. So let's add that one double three zero eight. Then we require the last one options column between curly brackets between single quotes. I'm initializing command initializing command column between double quotes. Let's set the SQL mode is equal to between single quotes. I'm adding and strict underscore trans underscore tables. Let's end with the comma here in this uh, init command. That's it. We have configured the database's connection string also for our application. Let's save this file. Now it's time to check the output. Come to the terminal in the command prompt. Before run our server, we need to add our application name to the project. So after adding the application to the project, now let's run the server. Python manage.py run server enter. And see, after I run the server, we don't have any issues. This is our server link. Now, before run the server, we need to call uh, to display the records. So here I'm adding the doc type. I'm adding HTML tag. Then header section. In the header section, I'm adding the title tag. The title is delete all records. Delete, delete all records from the table then after the header section i'm adding um, body tag i'm adding body tag inside the body we have a center tag in the center tag i'm adding h1 how to how to delete all the records from the table Second header tag, uh, Django Web Tutorials. After the header section, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding a table element with a border. And after the border, we have a, a tr tag. Inside the tr, I'm adding table headers. The table headers. This first one is a student ID. Student ID. The second table header is a student name and the third uh, header is a gender. After that, I'm using for loop to display all the records. So percentage percentage for, uh, for x in x is an object in the data we are getting from see here in the render method. I forgot to add here. Let's add the dictionary between curly brackets. So I'm adding data uh, colon the value data is a key and the values is a student object display. Let's copy and paste here. Now let's copy this key value of the dictionary, which is the data paste here. Then close with info and closing the for loop. Now tr, the td, between double curly brackets in this expression, I am adding x dot id. We need to add the same column names what we have in this table, student table id. The next one is a student name. Again, add the expression between double curly brackets, s dot st name. And the last one between double curly brackets x dot uh, gender let's save this file save all i have saved all the files in our application then again let's check there is no issues in our application below is our web server link let's run the server control plus mouse click so here we got the output of our application displaying all the records from the table uh, from the student table now let's add one button control to delete all the records at a time 
so switch back to the coding part after the table i am adding input type is equals to submit and the value is equals to delete all then uh, after the horizontal i'm adding a form tab from method is equals to post i'm posting the data so the form tag i'm closing after the button control the submit button control and i'm adding one command here percentage percentage csrf underscore token in django application when we are posting the data we need to add this token csrf underscore token the purpose of this adding this token is when we are posting data it protects our data from the hackers so make sure when we are posting the data we need to add this command otherwise we'll get an error next step before that let's save this file next step in views page let's add the logic to delete the records if request dot if method dot if request dot method double equals to post post colon now here i'm adding uh, student delete all delete all is a variable it's an object now add the student model student model student model the class name objects dot all method now i'm adding delete method So this statement deletes all the records. After that, I want to return a render. A render. I'm requesting the page index dot the template page index dot html. Now I'm adding a dictionary to display the records. After deleting the data, I want to display uh, the table. So in this dictionary the key value is data i'm adding the same data key value here column and the value is a student delete all as column so notice here in this if condition if the user is not posting any data i want to display the records once it posts a record i want to display this function written render function to display this data that's it and let's save this file save all and one more thing in the form tag i'm adding one small confirmation box on submit event i return confirm between single quotes are you sure are you sure you want to delete all records that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file save all now let's run the server again Control plus mouse click and here we got the final output what is the header tax below that we got a table displaying from this database and below that we got one delete all, button control now let's delete all the records from this table delete all see here we got a confirm message box or to show you want to delete all records if you don't want to delete click cancel see it's displaying the same Let's check in the browser also. See, it's still the record, rec all the records are available in this table student. Now delete all. Now I want to delete. Click OK. See, all the records has been deleted successfully from this table. It's showing empty. Now let's browse this table student. See, now this table has zero rows right now. For deleting all the records from this table that's it we have implemented to delete all the records anytime in django web application